With his imposing appearance, the tall, rough-haired Irish wolfhound always attracted admiring glances. Robert Kennedy and Ivan Rebrov were among many famous owners of this dog. History and Origin of the Irish Wolfhound Archaeological research proves that greyhound-like dogs existed in Ireland, England and Wales as early as 7000 BC. Records show that these dogs were also exported to ancient Rome, where they would participate in games and competitions. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Irish Wolfhound was the pride of European aristocratic houses. The hound part of the name indicates that the dogs were already used for hunting in these times. The dogs would accompany the nobility during bear hunts and they were used to protect cattle herds from wolves. When wolf numbers shrank due to the advent of firearms, the number of Irish wolfhounds also became significantly reduced. Fortunately, the British sinologist Captain George Augustus Graham began preserving the dog breed in 1862. He crossed the remaining specimens of the Irish Wolfhound with Deerhounds, Borzois and Great Danes, among others. The result was the Irish Wolfhound in its present form. Appearance of the Irish Wolfhound According to the breed standard, Males should have a height at the withers of at least 79 cm, while females should have a shoulder height of at least 71 cm. Some males grow even larger than 1 meter, although the ideal height for a male is 81 to 86 cm. The dog's weight is fixed between 40.5 to 54.5 kilos, depending on the sex. Unfortunately, the Irish Wolfhound, like many other very large dog breeds, has a rather low life expectancy of only 6 to 10 years. The coat of this elegant dog is rough and hard. Its permissible coat colors are similar to the Deerhound – red, grey, brindle, pure white, fawn and black. The large dog has relatively small ears, which are also called rose ears. The expressive eyes form a dark oval framed by black eyelids. Temperament and Training of the Irish Wolfhound Also known as the King of Dogs, Irish Wolfhounds are actually very gentle and faithful giants, which get along well with children and other dogs. They are always happy to be in their human pack. The dogs are very alert, but due to their peaceful nature, are not suitable as guard dogs. They are intelligent and independent, so blind obedience should not be demanded from them. Puppies learn best at an early age to listen to clear commands. The sensitive dogs react strongly to eye contact and they look into their owner's eyes for attention and assurance. When they are rewarded, their eyes seem to shine. Irish wolfhound puppies grow very fast and will require lots of space in the home. When cuddling, wolfhounds may forget that their expressions of love don't always match the physical stability of their owner. Exercise and care of the Irish wolfhound Owners should not forget that the dogs have greyhound roots and are hunters. Their hunting instinct and urge to move can be satisfied by lure coursing or at a real greyhound race. In lure coursing, a hare chase is simulated by pulling a dummy hare at high speed over the ground with a wire rope. The dog's most frequent causes of death are considered to be dilated cardiomyopathy, a type of heart disease and bone cancer. In fact, studies have proven a connection between castrating the dogs too early and a higher susceptibility to bone cancer. Therefore, it is best to wait until the male dog is fully grown before castration. The breed is also susceptible to stomach twists. The dogs can be very messy at times and dig holes in the garden, so owners will need a lot of patience with this breed. <laughs>